What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midton Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Got something we're going to work on today. That's my open L number seven carbon blade <laughs> that uh, was in my chuck box, which is now going to be replaced with number 10 open L stainless because this has happened. Yep, I thought I had it protected. Nope. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this thing up and uh, protect it this time. Okay guys, so what we got going on is I had my open L number nine in my chuck box and I thought, I thought, and here we go again. I thought I had this thing protected with a good amount of oil. Well, obviously I did not. Um, we know what moisture and um, carbon steel will do. They will rust. And that's exactly what has happened. But this is very light surface rust. I've caught it in time. So what I'm going to do is I've got a little mat laid down to keep any oils from messing up my burlap. Got some double alt steel wool. Now, there's numerous, numerous ways of doing this online. They'll, I mean, on YouTube, you'll see it. Um, I have a couple different choices that I could use. I could use this Lansky honing oil if I wanted to. I have ballastol, ballastol, good lord, I can't say it. Now this is a multi-purpose lubricant. It uh, also cleans and all that good stuff. This is a synthetic. So you got to remember that it's biodegradable and all that. So it should be pretty safe to use on something that you might cook with. And this is three in one oil. Lubricates, cleans, and prevents rust. Now this stuff's been around probably about as long as that stuff has. Um, I can remember dad having a metal bottle of this in his garage at all times. He always kept this stuff around. What I think I'm going to do is use the ballastol for this um, because it is a synthetic, it is biodegradable and all that. So if I ever use this again in the kitchen settings, I don't have to worry about the oil that's on it. Now, this is the stainless steel knife that's going to go in its place. Will stainless steel rust? It can. And you have to keep, you know, once again, keep things dried off and that kind of stuff. But it won't rust as easy as this. Um, this is a brand new knife. I just got it in. It's going in my Camp Cook set, but it's a number 10 versus the number 9 that I have now. So you can see I'm going to get a lot more blade, everything for cutting and bigger handle and all that. So the number 10 is going into the food box and the number nine is going to stay out and probably go back into more of a camp bag that I take with me from time to time or a day hike bag and save it for that. Um, is the number nine unusable for camp cooking? No, I've used this for several months actually. Uh, it wasn't until I pulled it out this last time that I realized, oh crap, this thing has uh, done gone and rusted on me. So what I want to do first is take a paper towel. We're going to get a little bit of the ballastol on it first. And then we're just going to wipe it across it and see how much of this will come off right off the rip. Now, I always try to wipe with the blade away from me. Um, and know if you go back and forth, you've got a pointy tip here that can spear the paper towel. Um, I have cut myself pretty bad before uh, with cleaning knives off and um, see once again the blade wants to be towards me and I don't want it towards me so I'm gonna put it down and get another grip and we're wiping this oil on there and we're seeing this is not coming off with the greatest of ease it's coming off but it's not taking it off like it should so what I'm gonna switch to now is the double alt steel wool. Now this may, this should not scratch the blade, but it could um, at some point if you're not careful. But we're just gonna wipe this on there. 
I'm not using a whole lot of pressure on this. I've got the blade pointed towards me. I'm uber conscious of the blade being towards me. And if you'll see, if I do do a back and forth motion, I'm doing very small motions because I'm trying to keep any um, too much um, motion where it may slip and I come back and and uh, hurt myself. Uh, that's the main goal. We don't want to cut ourselves and have a bad day and nice big cut that we have to worry about for several days. Um, now, if it doesn't get all of the embedded stuff off, that's fine. Character, okay? I look at it as character. It's giving us some character. But we'll keep it old. And we'll see all the stuff on the surface. Whoops. It's coming off. I can still, if you take your fingernail, you can feel the divots. It's not bad, but it's not good. <laughs> Shall we say, I had another knife that I had found that my dad had made that was out of a real high carbon steel and it had had some rust on it. Now I'm not going to do this to this one. I'm not going to polish it, but I have polished it out and got the rust completely off of it. Now you'll see I'm taking very short strokes with this. I don't want to take a real long stroke. And also, after I'm done with this, I'll probably want to strop the edge. Um, I shouldn't do anything to damage the edge by doing this. And it's, it's still pretty darn sharp. But you will see we've gotten a good chunk off of that. And that's just using very light, very light rubbing. So I'm going to stop the camera right now. And I'm going to go at this off camera. Okay, so I've done a few more swipes on this. Um... Really getting after it. Let me get a cleaner paper towel. But I think I've gotten as far as it's going to get, as far as cleaning the rust completely off. So I think all the rest I've got left is going to be, well, character, like I said. Just going to be character on it. Yep. Right now she. See if we can get this to focus. Looks a whole lot better than it did. Go to the other side. Now, if I wanted to, I could polish this and make it look a lot better. I do have a polishing wheel over there. Um, or I could hand polish it. Either way, if I wanted to really, really, really get after this. But it's a camp knife, after all. It's not a show knife. It's not a... Um, you know, it, it, it's a $15 knife, okay? It's $15, $16 knife. It's not a $300 knife that I'm sweating over it being rusty. But I do want to get the rust off. And what I'm doing now is I'm give it, putting another coat of uh, the ballastol on it to leave it on there for a little bit so it'll soak in. That's the other thing about ballastol. It'll soak into the metal. Uh, work itself into it. If it was heated a little bit, probably do a little bit more, but we don't want to heat the blade because then we start losing the the um, strength of the blade, is what I'm trying to say. Now I can take my smooth strop real quick. I'll lay it down here and we'll do a couple passes over it real quick. Sounds like there's something on the strop. Let's try it again. Uh, must have been some dust on it. I don't have any, well, I have, there's a little compound residue on the strop, but this being a high carbon blade, it'll strop easier. Let's see, oh yeah. Yeah, she's fine. She's fine. Taking the hair right off. Can't see it because I'm not in focus. Or... So we'll just drop it a little bit more. We'll put some compound on here and it would really hone it in some more if we wanted to. But like I said, this is fixing to become a 
basically a pack knife. I'll keep it in a pack or something that I keep indoors all the time. Part of the problem is this was in my truck, in the back of the truck, and, you know, heating up and cooling off and heating up and cooling off probably got it is what got the rust going on it. Yep, we're getting there. And, you know, that's my silly mistake. I should have known better than carbon steel. Like I said, it's not the first time carbon steel's bit me and I've had to clean it up. But I believe we're where we need to be. So, that's it. Open L number nine. Carbon steel. She's cleaned back up and in better shape than she was. I'll probably coat it a little bit more with the Ballastol and call that saved. Saved by the bell. Or by the oil, shall we say. Alright guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Uh, just a little clean up a little detailing um, from a mess I made myself I mean I should have known better I probably washed this got in a hurry which big mistake got in a hurry and I threw it in the chuck box didn't make sure it was dry and old because I do keep a, a vegetable in my chuck box which you can use on blade steel um, such as this and it will protect it now is it the best protector for it no it's not um, there's much better protector out there like the bowel stall and stuff but it was what I had on me and I probably should have went back after the camping trip and made sure it was good and oiled and I didn't do it so all right guys that's it for this one appreciate you watching see you on the next one be prepared